DJX, the Ben Davis and Kelly K show on with Selena Gomez. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Uh, We're good. Doing great. Of course, you got to be riding high. You got a new song on the radio. You got a new album. You got a tour kicking off. Definitely can't complain. I'm super lucky. You know, uh, we haven't spoken with you since you turned 21. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and drink with you right now, if that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Do it. <laughs> Have you uh, discovered a drink of choice since you've turned the legal age of 21? Yes. I um, I started, I don't even know why, but we. Um, my first like shot ever was Jack. And um, I kind of started doing that, but I actually really like wine. Cause mm. it's, I think it might be the Italian in me because it makes me very happy and it's very like relaxed. So... Yeah, I'll have a nice glass of wine at dinner, and it's very weird for my mom to adjust to it, though, because she's she's like, "Don't do that!" I was like, "Oh crap, I can't tell you not to do that anymore." Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're still her baby. I, you know what? I like wine too, and I have a very sophisticated taste for wine. I'm gonna go ahead and venture out. Are you familiar with Arbor Mist? No. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Don't don't it's look a it up. Twist off bottle. Work. $5. Good for you. Yeah, you know Thank what, you. Selena, don't try it. What? Don't, I'm just saying. Don't try it. <laughs> yeah. Selena, so what are you most excited about this tour? It's been really fun for me to just go on stage and just and just be. You know, I've done 13 choreographed pieces for this show, and I've really put my heart and soul into it. I'm doing fun and covers because, in a way, I just feel like this might be the the last tour of, of me doing the kind of music that I've been doing. And, uh-huh. Then I'm going to just kind of step into a different world and just explore and, and do a couple of movies and, and escape. So I'm excited to just kind of let let loose and be there for these kids and party with the girls and just have a fun time. I, I got to ask, what is your favorite Selena song that uh, you just love performing? Uh, I actually really love Who Says. And it's not actually on this record, but it's a very powerful song because... It's a moment for me to just have that connection with those the, the these kids that tell me and they're so honest about what they go through. And at the same time, I'm going through everything that they're going through. And it just it's a moment during the show where we all just sing at the top of our lungs and literally forget about everything from drama and at school or cyber or whatever and love and all the all the nonsense. It just allows you to kind of escape in that, and it's a really powerful song. So I like performing that. All right, cool. Hang on a second, Selena. I want to ask you about that uh, whole crazy drama surrounding like your Twitter and all that stuff. That's coming up again with Selena Gomez here in just like ten minutes. On with Selena now. We were just talking about some of the craziness that happens. I know Twitter can be crazy for you at times. Uh, do you look at it? How much do you look at it? Yeah, of course. I, I actually do look at my Twitter. Um, you know, every now and then I usually just post and I'll just post and I won't like look at anything else. But if I post like fun contests or things that I'm going to do, I like to see what they say. And it's, it really does blow your mind because you, in a way, you won't ever really get used to it because there will be a thousand nice comments and then one bad comment and it will right. kind of throw you off. So. It isn't really a good thing, but it's not fair to the people who are sending me really amazing messages that are sweet, and I just not to be able to acknowledge that because other people ruin it. I don't. I just try not to let it affect me. When I get two at replies when I open up my Twitter, I'm ecstatic. Can can you just give me an idea as to what it's like to open up a Selena Gomez Twitter uh, uh, on your phone? Who would you be thrilled if somebody, re- who would be the person that you'd be thrilled about that retweeted you? Uh, I have to say I freaked out when Brittany retweeted me. So that, was, that was pretty, pretty surreal. But um, no, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. It's actually, it's fun to be able to post something and then just kind of see what they're going to say and it does get a, a little bit um, overwhelming, but it's, mm-hmm. it's awesome. It's just it's love. It's good. Yeah. Well, and it's nice that you can have some fun with it, too, when, you know, people like Jimmy Kimmel make you read mean tweets about yourself. I think that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've done anything <laughs> twice or three times with him. It's, uh-huh. it's something that's brilliant, too. It's fantastic. Since, you know, you, you've kind of been out on tour, you're just now uh, getting to the United States and everything. Have you had any, like, rock star moments where you and some of your girlfriends or whatever get a little crazy in a hotel room and you're like, you know what, screw it, I'm a rock star? Um, it's hard to be a rock star when you're a 
pop artist. <laughs> well, like, sure. I, I can't be like super hardcore and then think, okay, well, I'm in a pink, like sparkly dress. It's kind of hard to do that. But <laughs> no, I, I do, I do enjoy myself. I like to go out, but I'm always the kind of person, and I'm very, I'll be honest. I'll get super, like, rowdy, and I'll be like, yeah, and then I'll get super nervous. I'll be like, oh, I don't want to disrespect people. I shouldn't do this, and I shouldn't do that. I so I say my rock star version is, like, the PG-13 version. Yeah. Because I am 21, and I can go out, but it's always very it's always very hard for me to, to just, like, go all out. But we're not going to be seeing you, like, swinging naked on a wrecking ball anytime soon or anything like that, right? Hey, I don't judge people, but each <laughs> their own. Well, hey, Selena Gomez, uh, let's do a quick word association game with you, and then we'll let you go. I, I do appreciate you taking some time to call us here this morning, and can't wait to see you October 23rd when you're here at the Yum Center. But, uh, but yeah, just first thing that comes to your mind when we say something, okay? Okay. Which? Black hair. <laughs> Black hair, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, bacon. Grease. Cartoon. Family Guy. Ah, well, that's a good one. Good answer. Yeah. X Factor. Demi. Of course. Yes, I figured you'd that. say that. Yes, 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 yes. Selena, thank you so much. Of course. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to seeing you. Yay. Take care, guys.